Hello, this is Derek with Reef Automation. Today I'm going to go over how to do auto water changing. Now, there are five different products that I would recommend for doing auto water changing. And if you use one of these products, they have pros and cons each product. And I'm going to go through each product and how to use each product and what I what I believe each product gives that others do not give. So let's go through the first one. The first one we're going to go over is going to be the Ecotech Versa. Now the Versa pump is relatively new to the scene. It's only been out for a couple months. You're going to need two Versa pumps to do an auto water change. And it's quite simple actually. You take an app and you program each pump and each pump you would program to do a certain amount of gallons throughout the, throughout the day or during a certain time of the day. You could have them run, you know, a gallon at 3 a.m. on each pump and you can get an auto water change done that way. Now, with these pumps, uh, my recommendation is to put one of them next to the tank and one of them next to your reservoir. So it can pull from the reservoir to put water into the tank and then take water out of the tank and throw it into a, some sort of a drain or another dirty water container. Now, how you're going to want to do this, like auto, like all water auto water change systems, is you're going to want to pull the dirty water out of the tank first, and then you want to take the new fresh salt water and put it into the tank. So when you program these, you're going to want to always make sure that you program one of the verses that's taking the water out of the tank to go first, and then after it's complete, have the other one then follow. So these are relatively simple, very versatile. That's why they're called verses. Um, and I really believe this would be a good, easy way to do an auto water change. They run about $150 a piece, and they have their own power supplies, and again, they work off of an app. Now, the one thing to notice about this system, which is pretty much the same with most of these systems, is you have to program it locally. You can't program it uh, off-site or make any changes to it off-site, whereas you can on a couple of these other units, which I'm going to show you. And also, it's uh, they're very small, and you can put them pretty much anywhere. So I find these to be one of the probably your best options for auto water changes. So let's go on to the next one. The next one is the Auto Aqua Smart Auto Water Change System. Now, what's great about this is it also does auto top off. So it does three different things. It does auto water changes and does auto top offs together in one box. Comes with three pumps, comes with tube holders, comes with siphons, comes with your controller, comes with your optical sensors. This is an all-in-one unit right here. So you don't need to buy anything else. It comes with everything you need. So one thing that you have to consider about this is that these pumps are not very strong. Unlike the Versa, which I showed you, which can probably push and pull water about 50 feet, these guys are not going to be able to push that kind of amount of water. So the general consensus on this unit is to put it roughly, I would say, three feet from the tank. So as you can see in the diagram below, you have your wastewater, which again can be in a container or to a drain, and then you have your refill on your new water reservoir, which I recommend, like I said, being sitting next to the tank. There's two sensors inside. One is a high and one is a low, and it knows when to fill and when to not fill. And those sensors can be roughly, I would say, four inches from each other, which is a good amount of water change. And again, all the adjustments are in the touch controller here. And then, of course, you have the ATO refill pump, which will always figure out the S1 and where it needs to be, which is the standard uh, height of your water level. So, like I said, very good unit. One thing to keep in mind is that the tubes are relatively large. They don't use the standard quarter inch like the other ones use. And again, the pumps are not very strong. They're very small pumps, so you would have to be very close to the tank. But a really good unit. Uh, these typically run between $150 and $250 online. So again, a very good unit. If you don't have any type of controller, this is a very good entry-level auto water chain system. Okay, the next one is the Neptune Dose. Now, the Neptune Dose, of course, will require a Neptune system or controller, which is the one con if you want to do this as just a strictly an auto water change system. You will need 
to have a an apex system in your in your system to use this now these guys are very good at doing auto water changes one of the things to note is that when you use this as an auto water change these are extremely loud and that was my only complaint with doing these as auto water changes the other thing to notice is that the head the head uh, direction changes when you do an auto water change so my recommendation is if you want to use a dose as an auto water change you're going to need to make sure you use the task on your apex and there is a task for setting that up which I'm going to show you right now if you go to your apex fusion and you go to your system and you go to tasks there is a task for dose auto automatic water change and when you click on this it does say that you're going to need to do an opposite direction on one of them now one thing I don't like about the dose which is very similar to that of the auto aqua and the ones that I'm going to mention after this is you can't have separate locations so everything needs to be close by the new saltwater reservoir the wastewater or drain they all need to be in the same location so that's the one con to this is you're gonna have to locate your dose uh, pretty close to the tank generally and it's quite loud so that's my only thing to mention about the dose is if you do decide to do this as an auto water change just note that it's gonna be pretty loud uh, I do like that it uses the smaller tubing and I do like that it can be 100% controlled by the apex and the apex will shut off an auto water change for instance if there was a leak will also shut it off if there was an overflow or it went over a sensor for instance you could put a sensor inside and say if it's too high turn off the auto water change and of course as I mentioned this is the only one that you can get that you can make these changes remotely with their fusion software whereas the Versa the auto aqua and the following ones we're going to go over will require you to be at or nearby the unit to program your auto water change so the next one is the spectra pure now the dose runs about $250 and the spectra pure liter meter runs about 300 and as you can see 345 however you need to add an additional pump to this and the pumps run about $140 so when it's said and done you're at about $500 for the liter meter you're at about $250 for the dose you're at about $150 to $250 on auto aqua and the verses run $150 a piece so roughly $300 let's say so this is going to be kind of on the higher end cost wise now what I use my liter meter for is specifically for an auto water change and I have two of them and what I really like about the liter meter is the fact that they can push water as far as I need it which is roughly 100 feet away so if you're looking to push water really far and need something that is very versatile and where you can locate the sensors and everything this would be the kit for you um, it does have a built-in pump right here I did a review on the liter meter which you can take a look at in my other videos but just in a basic sense as a auto water change system everything gets programmed from the keypad here this pumps on sends water to the tank or from the tank and then comes back and you can actually put it in the order in which you want it and as I said I mentioned how to do it in my liter meter video so if you do use one of these again you will need to buy an additional pump which runs about hundred and fifty dollars on top of the three hundred and forty three or forty five dollars they also make a 240 volt system which is kind of neat um, so if you have something and you're doing something in Europe they actually have one specifically for you guys so this this guy is a really good device my only con to this device is that this keypad and everything in here is kind of difficult to use once you've used it a few times uh, you'll find it to be quite easy but in comparison to something like the Versa Auto Aqua or the Dose I find this to be the most difficult one to get going and working also calibration on this is quite difficult you actually have to fill up a 500 milliliter container and when it gets to 500 milliliters you have to go and run and press stop on this guy whereas these other ones do calibration based on 5 milliliters 10 milliliters this one needs 500 milliliters so I find it to be quite difficult to calibrate but other than that I find this unit to be fantastic uh, I've had them for roughly three years I haven't had a single problem with them 
they're bulletproof and their pumps are bulletproof so don't expect to ever have to service them and they recommend you service them every six months i've never touched them and they still work just fine the next one is probably the most expensive one and also one of the first automatic water change systems and this is the reef genesis now the reef Gem genesis system has been around for a long time and you can see that the pricing on this becomes very expensive and i have found that this system not only is expensive but it's also very very good in what it does so it has very specific level sensors it comes with everything you need these pumps are extremely powerful it even comes with the reservoirs and it's extremely easy to program so if you're looking to really spend a good amount of money and get a automatic water change system again this is the genesis and the genesis water change system so let's kind of go over their pro model here which is the bundle and it comes with two reservoirs it comes with two sensors comes with two pumps and it comes with valves and you're looking at about a six hundred and sixty dollars for the whole kit and again you can come up you can get better pumps with this guy which will give you a little more oomph and you can put it farther away and you're looking at about seven hundred and twenty dollars now one thing to note about the genesis system is it might look small in the picture but this controller box is quite large so you're going to want to make sure you have enough room for the unit the control measurements of this are four inches tall by six inches by three inches deep so consider that when you're getting this as it can be quite large on the wall in comparison to some of these other ones so this is the genesis pro this is the one i'd recommend which comes with the containers and everything you need they also have the basic bundle which we'll go through really the biggest difference in the basic is you don't get the sensors which will be able to have more of a specific amount of water that it needs to know when you're when you're doing the water change still you're looking at about 600 for that unit and you're looking at about 560 for this unit so we're talking out of all of the solutions here this is by far the most expensive now if you consider the dose is going to need reservoirs the auto aqua is going to need reservoirs and the verse is going to need some type of reservoirs and the leader meter the renew comes with the reservoirs so it's kind of nice and it knows the level of the reservoir which also will alert you when it needs to be refilled the unit does not work with any type of apps. It doesn't work with any type of, you know, wireless signals or Bluetooth. It's 100% done on the screen, similar to that of the leader meter. So these are some of the different auto water change systems I have used. Every one except for the Auto Aqua and the Genesis has been around for so long. Uh, if they would probably reduce the price. I think you would see a lot more of these sold and for now my top bet right now would be the spectra pure if you can afford it and my second would be the versa so spectra pure number one versa number two i'd say auto aqua number three dose number four and because of the price i would say the genesis number five if i was to rate these from best to not worst but best to least best so i hope you're able to see some of the different options out there and get an idea for yourself if you have any questions on any one of these units please just leave them in the comments if you like the video go ahead and hit the thumbs up below and also if you're not a subscriber go ahead and subscribe to our channel we do live streams every week where we talk about all kinds of different reef automations topics and I have spoke about auto water changes and you can take a look at my auto water change system in my reef videos. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.